Hey, it's Jess from Tech with Jess. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a form in MailerLite and embed it on your site. I'm going to be doing this on my WordPress site using the Elementor page builder. So I am under the form section and here I want an embedded form. These are the forms that just show up on the pages. A lot of people put them near the bottom or on the sidebar under blog posts and such. So we are going to create one of those. I'm going to click on create embedded form and give the form a name. Press save and continue. Now we are going to select the subscriber group. So what group will these subscribers be added to after they sign up? So generally this will be like your email subscriber group. If you have a lead magnet, you might have a specific group for them. So you would click on that and press continue. Now we are going to design the form. So this is what the form will look like on your website. So here you can hover above the text and click on the pencil to change this out. And you can also change this description. I hover over this, I can add more fields. I do want to have the name field, for example, so I can add that and drag it up there so it's the first option. Then on the button, again, click Save, and then you can edit the text here. And you can also edit the color by coming over here to the call to action, editing the background color. You can also edit the color of this box. You can edit the text color, change the text. All of those options are over here on the side. So here you can see the background. I could change the color of it in the background form. I could also edit the layout. So this is the center. Maybe you want this form on the left. You could add it to the left. And then if you want to change the design of the form, you can come under here where it says default and click change. You can click one of these different options. I like this card layout because it has an image option. And if you click on the pencil, you can actually choose an image that you either have in your media library or you could upload a new one here. So I'm going to select this one. And you can also choose whether you want to hide this image on small screens in mobile devices. So I'm going to click save. And then again, you can go through any of these settings and edit them. Once you are happy with the form, you can also edit the success message. So up here, this will display after they sign up. So right now it says, thank you. You have successfully joined our subscriber list. I don't love that, so let's change it. Okay, and click save. So again, you can edit this, but then it's also gonna change the regular form. Okay, so now that I have the subscribe form and the success message set up, I'm going to click next. And now I have some settings that I can review. So here we have a double opt-in right now. It is on, I could turn it off. If I wanna go back and edit the design, I would just click here. If I wanna change the group that these subscribers get added to, I could edit that as well. Here I get a URL to this form. And this is not something I would normally use because it's ugly. And if I wanted to send people to a URL, I would create a nice landing page, but you do have that option. And then down here is what we want. We want this JavaScript snippet. I'm going to copy this code and then go to my website. I'm going to go to the plugins and I want to find insert headers and footers. So here it is. I'm going to add this code under my Facebook pixel code and click save. Now that I have that, I'm going to go to one of my pages and I'm going to add the other code. So 
So now I'm going down to this bottom code. I'm going to copy it to clipboard, go back to the web page, search for the code widget. This is HTML. So we are going to drop that in and then paste that shorter code. So then we are going to update the site. We want to make sure that this is showing up. So let's view the page. And there it is. So that is the form. Remember, I aligned it to the left. So that's why it's going there. If you want it to be in the center, you can edit that in the settings of the form. But those are the steps you need to take if you want to add this. Now, this is only the first time. Now that you have that code in the head section, that's for all of your website. So whenever you want to add this form again, all you have to do is grab this shorter code and add it to that specific page. So I hope that was helpful. Make sure you test out your forms to make sure that they are working and that you are getting the emails after you subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you liked this tutorial, make sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you in my Facebook group for virtual assistants. It's called Become a Tech VA.